Hello, and thank you for joining me for this session on co-authoring Excel spreadsheets stored in SharePoint Online. While today's session is focused on spreadsheets stored within SharePoint, the same user experience would hold true for a spreadsheet stored in OneDrive for Business. The current implementation of Excel co-authoring requires that all participants make modifications using Excel Online. Co-authoring is not available when editing a spreadsheet using Excel desktop application. I'll later show the experience of what happens when multiple users try and edit the same spreadsheet using a combination of the Excel desktop application and the Excel Online client. I currently have both Garth and Sarah viewing the Project Falcon budget spreadsheet in Excel Online. Let's begin by having both users change the spreadsheet to edit mode. Each user receives a notification in the upper right hand corner of their browser saying that another user is also editing this spreadsheet. In Excel Online, each user sees modifications made by other users to the spreadsheet in real time. You'll notice that if I put Garth's cursor on the cell for 400,000, Sarah's spreadsheet highlights that same cell and if she hovers over that cell, she'll see that Garth is making a change to it. So if Garth updates 400,000 to, let's say, 500,000 and commits the change, Sarah's spreadsheet will reflect that change immediately, as well as any calculations and charts that rely on that update. The same holds true if Sarah were to make a change, and she changes, let's say, 700,000 to 800,000. Garth can see that someone is editing this field, and as she hovers over that cell, she'll see that it's Sarah Davis. As soon as she commits that change, Garth's spreadsheet reflects the update, and all calculations and charts also receive the update. So now if Garth stops editing this spreadsheet, you'll see that Sarah is notified that she is the only one now editing this spreadsheet. While Sarah still has the spreadsheet open in edit mode, I'll have Garth try and edit the same spreadsheet using the Excel desktop application. You'll see that he receives a notification that it's currently locked and being edited by Sarah Davis, and he can really only open it in read-only mode. This time, if we start off by editing the spreadsheet using an Excel desktop application, and then try and have Sarah edit that same spreadsheet in the Excel Online client, she'll receive a notification that it's also locked by another user and cannot edit it. So this concludes the co-authoring experience with Excel. Stay tuned for my other co-authoring videos to gain a better understanding of what happens with Word, PowerPoint, Visio, and OneNote.